His Beatitude, Marvarki Cardinal Vidyatil, a man who exemplified the witness par excellence to the discipleship of Jesus Christ, a pastor called to bridge the polarities. With the death of Cardinal Varki, an eventful era has come to an end. The Siro Malabar Church, along with the Universal Church, pays tribute to the inspiring life of Cardinal Vidyatil. Now he is in the hearts of thousands as a great humanitarian, a man of convictions, a saintly monk priest, and a cardinal who championed peace and reconciliation. His thoughts were transparent, his words were new openings to resolutions, and his deeds were incredibly credible. An exploration to the life and contributions of Cardinal Varki Vidyatil. Marvarki Cardinal Vidyatil CSSR, the late Major Archbishop of the Siro Malabar Church, was born on 29th May 1927 as the third son of Chevalier Joseph Vidyatil, a judge of the then Travancore Cochin High Court, and Tresyamma Manadan, both belonging to the St. George Parish, Puttanpalli, at North Paravur, Ernakulam, Kerala. He did his primary education at North Paravur and Trivandrum. Completing his college studies at the University College Trivandrum and St. Joseph's College Trichy, he joined the Redemptorist Order and professed as its member on 2nd August 1947. On completing his studies in philosophy and theology, on 12th June 1954, he was ordained as a priest. In 1955, he went to Rome for higher studies in canon law at the University of St. Thomas de Aquinas. He came out with flying colors, securing a doctorate on the subject the origin and progress of the Siro Malabar hierarchy. On his return from Rome, after studies in 1959, Dr. Father Varki Vidyatul CSSR was appointed as Professor of Canon Law at the Redemptorist Major Seminary in Bangalore, and he served in this post for 25 years. Meanwhile, he took his Master's degree in Philosophy from Karnataka University in 1972. He proved his mettle by rendering his valuable services as a visiting professor in various institutes across the globe. In 1978, he became the provincial superior of the Redemptorists in India and Sri Lanka. He was also the president of the Conference of Religious India, a national body of India's religious major superiors. In 1990, he was appointed as the Apostolic Administrator of the Ashurvanam Benedictine Monastery in Bangalore by His Holiness the Blessed Pope John Paul II. On the road to elevation, Dr. Varki Vidyatil was appointed as the Apostolic Administrator of the Siro Malabar Major Archiepiscopal Church and the Archdiocese of Ernakulam Angamali and the titular Bishop of Antino on 18th December 1996. 
The fulfillment of this crowning glory came when he was consecrated as bishop by His Holiness, the Blessed Pope John Paul II, at a solemn function in Rome on 6th January 1997. He assumed charge of the Syro Malabar Church and the Archdiocese of Ernakulam Angamali on 18th January 1997. Another milestone in the life of Marvarki Vidyatil was on 23rd December 1999 when His Holiness Blessed Pope John Paul II appointed him as the second major Archbishop of the Syro Malabar Church and the Archbishop of Ernakulam Angamali. His enthronement as the major Archbishop took place at St. Mary's Basilica Ernakulam on 26th January 2000. A personification of simplicity, Marvarki Vidyatil's moment of glory came in 2001 when Pope John Paul II elevated him to the College of Cardinals. His sacerdotal Golden Jubilee was celebrated under the auspices of the Syro Malabar Church on 8th November 2003. His beatitude, Cardinal Videtil, was a member of the Congregation for Eastern Churches, of the Pontifical Council for Interpretation of the Legislative Texts, and of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity. He participated in the papal conclave that elected His Holiness Benedict XVI in April 2005. He solemnized the events of beatification of Blessed Augustine Tevar Parambil and Evuprasia CMC. It was in his tenure that Saint Alphonsa, India's first woman saint and a member of the Syro Malabar Church, was canonized. In February 2008, he was elected as the president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of India and held the presidency till 3rd March 2010. Mater misericordiae, vita dulcezo, espes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules vidiere. For the last 15 years, as the pastoral leader of the Syro Malabar Church, he led his flock in the path of peace and harmony in the midst of manifold challenges. His philosophy of life was one of genuine openness, transparency, and humanitarian concerns. He never believed in or never tolerated tension and exclusiveness. 
in the magnificent personality of Cardinal Vidyatil, the versatility of human as well as divine virtues was powerfully visible. He gained many hearts with his simplicity and humility. He was innocent like a child, a preacher like Liguri, a scholar like Aquinas, and a mystic like John of the Cross, and a pastor resembling the eternal pastor. As a man of deep God experience and lover of unity and fellowship, and with the immense desire to be a saint, he was always a role model for his fellow bishops, pastors, religious, and the laity. He was a champion of the cause of the poor. He had a radical understanding of the existing social scenario in the light of the divine word. In his thoughts, words, and deeds, his great concern for the poor and the underprivileged was always evident. He exhorted his people to have compassion and love for the poor. He loved to be with the poor. His feelings were with the poor and for the poor. He himself led a virtuous life of strict poverty in accordance with the religious vows he had promised. In his political outlook, he had impartial and non-favoring attitudes. He had friends from all walks of life. He was courageous and credible to express his convictions. As he was simple and humble in his life, he exhorted the pastors and the religious to lead a life of modesty and transparency and to abstain from luxuries. He asked the community to keep festivals and celebrations as simple as possible and emphasized the real liturgical and spiritual meaning of festivities. He was a faithful son of the church and had utmost respect and obedience to the Holy See. Even when the West expressed its uneasiness with Pope Paul VI's encyclical Humane Vitae, as an ardent advocate of pro-life, Cardinal Vidyatil held the view that we must form our conscience according to the teaching of the Church. As the head of the Siro Malabar Church, he urged the faithful, those who have the means, should come forward to have more children and bring them up. Responsible fatherhood and motherhood demands this. He asked parents to promote more and more of their children to priestly and religious vocation. It was a great dream and ambition of His Beatitude Varki Cardinal Vidyatil to provide pastoral care to the Siro Malaba faithful all over the world according to their own ecclesial tradition. He was keen to promote all the provisions given in the Second Vatican Council documents and canon law of both Latin Church and Oriental Churches in this regard. He had great vision regarding the evangelization of the whole of India. He conveyed very clearly his dream and longing for the whole Siro Malabar Church to the Holy Father. He said, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few, and the Siro Malabar workers and missionaries are not even allowed to work. This made His Holiness Pope John Paul II to smile and consider the matter seriously. The Siro Malabar community in Delhi gratefully acknowledges the vision and efforts of the Cardinal in this regard to bring together around one lakh Siro Malabarians under 23 personal parishes and several more mass centers in and around Delhi. We are seriously hopeful that these dreams of His Beatitude Cardinal Vidyatil as well as the whole Siro Malabar Church will be realized soon.
on 1st April 2011 at the age of 84 Marwarki Cardinal Vidyatil departed for his heavenly abode immediately after receiving holy communion from his secretary who celebrated divine liturgy in his own private chapel at the major archbishop's house Ernakulam since all Cyril Malaba bishops were on their five yearly Adilimina visit to Rome the solemn funeral ceremony of his beatitude Varki Cardinal Videtil was conducted on 10th April 2011 at St Mary's Basilica Ernakulam at 2:30 p.m. tens of thousands of faithful and dignitaries from various walks of life including several heads of other religions paid homage to the late cardinal his excellency oswald cardinal gracious president of the catholic bishops conference of india his excellency telus for cardinal topo president of the ccbi archbishop salvatore pinaccio the papal nuncio to india archbishop cyril vasil secretary of the congregation for the oriental churches rome his beatitude moran mor basilios marcli 